Uh, welcome, I am the Moonshin King. Welcome to the Moonshin Reviews. Um, do check out my other channels if you wish on my Instagram and my Twitter. Yes, so. Silver Scorpion, a comic I have today. By Liquid Comics, Open Hands Initiative. I've never heard of Silver Scorpion. Um, so I've never read a Silver Scorpion comic, never watched a, if he's in any series. I've never heard of Liquid Comics either. Um, it would be interesting if one day they make a movie of Silver Scorpion. He sounds cool. His costume looks very cool. Like a scorpion. Like a scorpion shell. For some reason this looks like lungs or, well, it makes sense on a human, but uh, in a scorpion design, but it's still cool. Or maybe like a brains. Um, it looks like this is the same guy. It, looking a bit more ordinary here, however, oh, I just noticed he's got no, well, he has part, he has stumps. Well, it's sort of like stumps. It looks like it's been, looks like quite a clean cut there. Um, well, not clean, but what I mean, it's not quite round like I imagine stumps to be. Unless that's just the shadows. But look at these uh, little wheelies at the bottom here. Uh, look like a stabilizer you will get on a bike. But it looks like the same guy. But his wheelchair looks very different. It looks even more high-tech here. Even though it already looks high-tech uh, in the ordinary version. I notice it's not showing his legs uh, in the top picture. I wonder um, what they look like. Or are they completely encased in this metal? He looks like he's doing some magic from his fingertips. Or some air bending, or something. Is this a power that scorpions have? I wonder. If you're called scorpion, you need a tail. That's for sure. Does he have a tail? Is this his tail? If he doesn't have a tail, I will be disappointed. And why do scorpions do this anyway? Well, like Spider-Man, his powers don't really make a lot of sense. Uh, in terms of what a spider does and what Spider-Man does. The amount of sense it makes is basically just to the extent that he can climb up walls. That's about uh, as far as it makes sense. Um, spiders do not have good vision. So, like in the first movie, his, he no longer needs glasses because he got these powers. But uh, spiders, as far as I'm concerned, are not good with their eyesight. So that, anyway, let's get into this. I'm quite excited for it. Silver Scorpion, based on the original ideas of a remarkable group of American and Syrian students. Hmm. And brought to life by the Open Hand Initiative and Liquid Comics. Chief Visionary, I haven't read that before, J.T. Snyder, SNYDER, in the way, Story, Shouted, Devarajan, and Ron Mars, I never heard this name Mars, with a Z, and the only one with a S is Bruno Mars, script Ron Mars, artwork, why is it just one person credited with the script? If it's based, oh, I see. The ideas were by this group of students, and somebody wrote the script based on of it. One person wrote the script. I wonder what the chief visionaries person did. Did he contribute to the script, or was he just the guy or she who uh, brought everyone together? Artwork, Mukesh Singh, and Liquid... Liquid Comics! That is not a person! <laughs> okay. And we have some special thanks to people down here. And made possible through partnerships. 
Victor Pineda Foundation, Light and Flowers Organization for Cerebral Palsy, Al Safina Organization, Brown Lloyd James, Amal Syrian Organization for the Disabled. So this seems to be a work of charity, perhaps. Um, Liquid Comics, Gotham Chopra partner. Is this a reference to Gotham? Gotham, or is this a real world place? I have no clue. Oh, let's get into it. Come on, Bashir. Is this this guy's name? Your uncle almost has dinner on the table. I'm hungry, let's eat. Wait, who is he talking to? What is this? And where is this referenced in this panel? Um, looks like someone's poking something with something. But where is that? It must be this guy he's talking to, so I'm guessing it's just the soup bowl or something. Even though it looks like sparks. But I'm hungry, let's eat. You can finish, well, whatever that is, later. Ah, I see, it makes sense now. He is looking down at this guy who's doing this. I was confused, because I was looking at this guy. Quiet, Kamal. Food can await. Art cannot. Well, that tells us a lot about his character already. He is very dedicated to his art, like most artists. And he is very malnourished because of it. He is very focused on one thing. He doesn't like being destructive. And this might be his brother, possibly. And uh, he thinks he is very hopeless, probably. He probably thinks his efforts are futile that he will never make it as anything, and he should just eat his food. I notice there are no... well, unless that's the father here. But uh, is there a mother? And is that the father? Let's go. What is this? Is this a wire? Is this a... Is this some kind of demon? Is it railings gone wild? Is it ink that's flying? But it looks like it's broken through the, uh, the floor. And why are there tusks lying around? It's not right. There's something missing. Wait, that's what he was doing. Ah, yes, it was. You know what's missing, dinner. If you're going to talk my ear off, at least tell me how you got that bruise on your face. I didn't recall seeing a bruise. Ah, is it this on his forehead? Hmm. I fell playing football. Yeah, right. Come on, tell me how you really got it. Fine, it was Zuha after school. He wants me to do his homework. <laughs> Very classic bullying scenario. Uh, the clever kid who gets bullied trying to be forced to do the bully's homework. That reminds me of uh, IT, actually. Um, I'm not sure if it was in the film. I don't think it was, but one of the reasons that, big, that bully um, got quite enraged with, uh, is he called Ben, the fat one, was because uh, he wanted to cheat off his test and uh, Ben wouldn't let him and then he had to stay and then the bully failed the test and then he had to stay and never stay back a year because he failed and then that got him very enraged with uh, Ben for not doing it for him. Um, uh, it was uh, quite predictable it was a, a fight, wasn't it? Another a cliché, you could say. Not again. He's just a bully. You should fight back. 
easy for you to say, nobody dares make fun of you. Maybe if you helped me. Interesting that no one dares make fun of him when his brother, I'm assuming his brother, makes fun of him, I, I assume. Hmm. Telling him to eat food instead of focus on his work. But it's, I was thinking it was interesting because usually in stories, everyone makes fun of artists. They are the ones that are struggling. Um, artists and inventors and uh, you know creative people and everyone else just uh, mocks them and laughs at them. Like around the world in 80 days. No one believes in that guy. He is the town joke. So it's interesting that people are afraid to talk against this uh, guy. I've forgotten his name. Protecting you is not my problem, Kamal. You should toughen up. Hurry up, you two. Dinner's going to be cold. Why did he ask him what happened to his uh, head? I mean, anyone could have guessed that it was a bully who did it. And why, why make him tell you what happened if you're just going to uh, put him down like that, saying he should toughen up? That's probably why he didn't tell you in the first place. So what was the point in uh, making him tell you? Two more minutes, Uncle Tamim. I just need to finish the sculpture. Your f oh, so that's what it was. A sculpture. Usually I think sculptures are made of stone. Um, or maybe clay. I don't know what that is. Metal it looks like. What it's supposed to be of. Uh, some kind of uh, tentacled monster. Your friend will finish your dinner if you're not here in the next few minutes. His friend! Maybe he has an extremely fat friend. Or a very impatient friend. Uh, oh, fine. I'm coming, uncle. By the way, it just occurred to me. Perhaps this is set in Syria. That's why they had Syrian students. And a Syrian organization. I cannot tell uh, by the names or... Well, there's not much to go off here. Later. Your uncle is an amazing cook. Not bad for a scrap metal dealer, I guess. So I'm guessing he makes sculptures out of scrap metal that he finds. Tell me something. Why are you always doing all these sculptures? What else is there to do in the village full of rusty old junk? I wonder how you make the metal uh, come together like that. I am no expert. But, uh, well, it looked like he was welding earlier. But did he weld them outside in this junkyard? Um, does he have equipment out here? And isn't it a bit risky? Do they get visitors or trespassers? They might want to steal such a thing. If they could pick it up, that is. It looks like it might be heavy. What else is there to do, oh, in this village of full of rusty old junk? I guess I understand. What sort of piece are you looking for to finish that new one? Not sure, but I'll know it when I see it. Nothing so far. Maybe there's something on the other side of the fence. Ah, classic story trope. The other side of the fence. But you're not supposed to go, ever. Full of danger, full of enemies. Ah, this is a, an interesting idea, but not a new one. What is there that could be so dangerous and so close? Nothing so far. Maybe there's something on the other side of the fence. Bad idea. Seriously bad idea. Come on, Bashir, don't. That's a no man's land out there. We're forbidden. Uh, as I predicted, forbidden. No man's land. Maybe you can send a woman. 
Stop being such a coward, Kamal. It's fine. Or maybe Zuha is right about you after all. He is a big bully to you, also. Um, what took him... Why now did he realize he might go over the fence? Um, it has the only just run out of metal or cool pieces of metal now. Surely he would have run out a while ago. What made him suddenly come up with this idea at this uh, present time? Oh well, this is another folly of artists. They try to achieve what they will, no matter the consequence. They don't eat food, and they don't care about safety. It reminds me of a treasure hunter also. Very uh, reckless. That's not fair, Bashur. It's dangerous. I've heard the city street gangs have left behind landmines and traps. Where do gangs get landmines and traps? It's, uh, London is quite, uh, um, dangerous. It's quite in the news lately. I'm sure it's not dangerous overall, but a lot of knife crime. Imagine if these gangs had landmines. And I don't know what kind of traps these, uh, uh, other kind of traps there might be involved, but this is really something else in this, uh, in this place. Stay back if you're scared, but I'm going. No, wait for me! That's it. This is what I need to finish. <laughs> wow, that was very quick, wasn't it? He took like five paces and defines what he needs. And apparently all he needed was a, uh, a bicycle tire. I mean, surely there would be a lot of bicycle tires around in, the, in that scrapyard. And the funny thing is, it looks like a desert. I don't see really anything over here. Uh, metal. Why would he think to come over the fence into some uh, place where you can clearly see there's nothing lying around? But he finds a wheel. Ah, scorpion. This is the spider, the equivalent to the Spider-Man spider. I'm sure. Ah, what is it? Scorpion. So he's the scorpion guy. Let me... Let me see at the beginning. Well, he's wearing blue here. But he's got no legs! Is this the same guy? Is he going to lose his legs? You know, I think I sort of assumed it was the orange top guy. But it looks like it might be the blue one. Or maybe it's someone completely different. I can't... Uh, well, it looks like he got bitten here already. So... Someone might be about to lose their legs. What is it? Scorpion. Oh, he killed the scorpion. He could have just left it alone. You went into his land when it was forbidden and then you killed the scorpion in his own home. I wonder if uh, how hard the scorpion's shell actually is. Could it withstand a heel to it? Can any scorpion's uh, shell be so hard that you cannot stamp on it in this way? Or at least it used to be. You're lucky that's all it was. This place gives me the creeps. Just let, let me get the wheel out and we're done. That does not look like a heavy wheel, to be honest. Oof! Ah, I see. A whole wheel 
share. You know, I'm going to predict that he is going to stand on a landmine. Possibly one of them might die. Possibly the orange guy might get killed. And possibly the blue one might lose his legs. If the orange one gets killed, then the blue one will feel very guilty that he was killed because he made him come over there. Um, so it was his fault that that is so. And he might just survive, but losing his legs. Um, and conveniently, there's a nice wheelchair here. Although this terrain looks very rocky to be a wheeling over. Surely people would need uh, wheelchairs in such a war zone. But it must be very old. Not much of a tall back though. Let's see if my predictions come true. Hey, check me out, Kamal. I'm a helpless cripple. Oh, 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 oh. Just like you're going to be if you don't stand up to Zuha soon. It's not so bad, actually. You can be pushed around for the rest of your life. That's mean, Bashir. No, it's not. I'm just... Tech? <clears throat> Look at this artwork. Look at this uh, disease in his brain. I like this. And here is a scorpion. Oh, two scorpions. Looking on. I bet it was them who caused this. They wanted revenge, for sure. But I was right, of course. There was a landmine. And, uh, like I said, I think he's going to survive. And I think he is going to die. Even though that makes no sense, since he was right on top of the mine. And he was a little bit further away. It might be the other way around, let's see. Two weeks later. I did suspect we would see a hospital scene, of course. Bashir is a very lucky boy. It's frankly a miracle he survived a blast and only lost his legs. His friend was not so fortunate. I doubt Bashir considers himself lucky, doctor. Ah, so I was right, one of them died and one of them lived. But I'm still not sure which one is which. Who is Bashir? Um, Kamal. Kamal is the orange one. So Bashir is the blue one. Ah, I think. Bash, it's not that fair, Bashir. It's dangerous. I've heard the city street gang. Yes, so the... Blue one is Bashir, which means, I doubt, yes, he was the one who survived. He looks nothing like this guy now. He looks like an old man. <laughs> and he looks shorter. Well, he is shorter, I suppose. So my predictions were correct. Did you guess that? Maybe it wasn't so difficult. Of course. His adjustment to the wheelchair is going to take some time. Mm. That chair is the best you have. It looks older than Bashir. Unfortunately so. Well, at least it's got a bit more of a backrest. So it's not the same chair, clearly. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it doesn't seem to be. I wish we could offer something better, but the hospital is already stretched thin with the violence this gang has brought down upon our heads recently. What is it with this gang? Why are they doing this? What do they get from terrorizing hospitals? Don't they have a police force to deal with them? Can't they deal with them themselves? Everybody gang together, create a bigger gang to whack them with. 
Hmm. And how does violence prevent them getting wheelchairs? Don't they have funding to do with that? It's a shame, this town is usually so peaceful. But there's really nothing more we can do for him here. Usually so peaceful. That's why there's landmines around everywhere. Don't you mean used to be peaceful? The doctor is discharging you, Bashir. That's finally some good news, isn't it? Bashir! Did you hear me? I said you can finally go home. It would be better if I had died. It should have been me. So you wish your friend to have the chopped off legs? Also, I got it wrong. I thought they were brothers. Uh, I mentioned earlier, but they were friends, apparently. And uh, I do wonder how he survived when his friend did not, when he landed right on the landmine. Well, the chair did. And the friend was further away. Don't talk like that. There's been eno enough sadness in this family. That's all it there is in this family. My parents died when I was just a boy. Your wife died. Now Kamal is dead. It's nothing but tragedy. Well, thank you for that uh, um, background information, which I'm sure he already knew. <laughs> hmm. We don't measure ourselves by our tragedies, Bashir, but by how we recover from them. Well, good luck recovering your legs. I'm not sure how well science has progressed, but they don't even have good wheelchairs in this hospital, so I wouldn't be counting on it. How am I supposed to recover? Yes, that is what I'm saying to you. I'm sure eventually they will be able to regrow legs with the nerves and everything. Good as new. Um, like that book I read recently. What was it called? Um, the Forever War. They were able to grow organic legs again. But it was extremely painful as I recall reading. Uh, with the nerves growing back and everything. But they did it in this future, but it was quite a while in the future, I must uh, admit. Even the wheelchair, that's what I told you! Even the wheelchair they gave me is falling apart. I... Go away! I have a friend who might be able to do something about that. Later in the city. No charge for you and the boy. Thank you. It's the least I can do, considering his... Well, what happened to him. We don't need charity from some cab driver. Keep your sympathy. Ah yes, I just remember now how he was uh, ridiculing cripples. Uh, for being on a chair and for being pushed around. Um, and now, ironically, he is a cripple. And ironically, he killed a scorpion. And I think he's going to be a scorpion or have scorpion ability. I don't know what scorpion does, like in the front cover, but let us witness. That was rude, Bashir. He was just trying to be kind. I don't need his pity. I hate, I hate the way the people look at me. Well, he knows what people are thinking. Or oh, maybe he doesn't, but he knows what he what used to be thinking about people uh, who are disabled. And so he assumes everyone is thinking the same as he used to. He probably hates himself, because maybe he hated them before. Or not hated, as in truly hate, but hate as in uh, he uh, ridiculed them. 
These sidewalks are a nightmare. Not to mention that I can't even go up or down the stairs in my own home without you carrying me. I know it's difficult, Bashir, but you will learn how to do everything on your own one day. Well, I think you need one of those stair lifts. Those are very funky to me. Those stair lifts you just sit on and it takes you up and down. It might be expensive though. You'll see us again, Tarek. Who's Tarek? Have a better answer when you do. I'm confused. Who are these people? Out of the way. Um. Ah, okay, this is the uncle. Hey, who do you think you are pushing my uncle? <laughs> Brave boy. The uncle is not going to die too, is he? That then if his parents would die, his friend die, his uncle's wife die, and his uncle die. That's what I'm predicting. Maybe he wants to be a dead boy. He meant nothing. Please, sir, accept my humble apology for the boy. Leave him, he is just a cripple. He'll be a corpse next time. Are you a fool, Bashir? That tongue of yours nearly got us killed. <laughs> Imagine, his, uh, his legs got his friend killed because he was running off into the, uh, other side of the fence. And imagine his tongue gets his uncle killed. And then his tongue gets cut off. Just like his legs were blown off. But it looks like his uncle survived, surprisingly. So there's not a revenge story at the moment. What should I have done? They're part of the gang that left me like this. He's right, Tamim. He recognizes them. How does he recognize them? Why aren't they being arrested? How big is this gang? When they say gang, do they actually mean army or something? My first impression of this guy is that he's going to be the Obi-Wan of this story. The old mentor. Men like that behave as wolves until you remind them that they are dogs. Tarek, so good to see you, my friend. Why is he surprised to see Tarek when we heard him t say Tarek back here? You'll uh, see us again, Tarek. Have a better answer when you do. Oh, so he looks like he is in trouble. Is he blind? You as well, Tamim. Time... This is the one you told me about. As you heard, he has a mind of his own. Tarek, meet my nephew, Bashir. I like him already. He has fire in his belly. Thanks, it's nice to meet you too. Come in, come in. The tea is already brewed. The skin actually looked pretty good, I would say, considering he was right in an explosion. He has a couple of plasters, but the rest of it looks pretty smooth to me. Later on. This ship looks very funky to me. Looks like some dystopian or sci-fi type uh, a uh, fantastical ship. These are beautiful, Tarek, but I have to ask you. How can you create the, such things if you're blind? Ah, so he also likes to create sculptures. What is that? It looks like a horse, but it's not a horse. It looks like a cross between a horse and a camel. Mm, there's a ship. I can't really see the rest, but I give you good effort. When you lose one ability, it helps to focus on your others. 
You may have strength you never knew you had. He is the devil to me. Bashir is an artist too. He sculpts using what he finds in a scrapyard. It seems that this uncle and this blind man, Tarek, seem to be quite familiar with one another. It does make me wonder how come uh, Bashir never heard of his friend the sculptor before. The, not the sculptor before. Didn't his uncle ever mention his friend who also is blind and makes sculptures to his nephew who makes sculptures and is an artist also? Convenient this is the first time they've met and convenient this is the first time uh, they seem to be mentioning him. Not anymore, not in this chair. Hasn't he been listening? He just completely ignored what the uh, man said. When you lose one ability, it helps to focus on your others. You may have strengths you never knew you had. And besides, was legs really that important to sculpting? Um, does, does he need his legs to do the welding like we saw him doing uh, at the beginning? Um, it's not like he's an athlete, like a uh, like a marathon runner. It's not like he's a basketball player. It's not like he's a football player or soccer. Um, why is he saying he can't be an artist because he doesn't have his legs? Mm -hmm. By the way, they do have wheelchair basketball also. You can make an entire wheelchair that quickly? Oh wait, well, well, do something about that chair first. I can have something much more suitable for you by tomorrow evening. Is it going to be that really high-tech chair? If so, then... Uh, nothing about these sculptures makes it look like he can create such a chair. And why would those gang people be in trouble with him. Surely he doesn't owe them money if he can create such a chair by tomorrow. Um, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a prototype. Let's see. You can make an entire wheelchair that quickly. How is that even possible? Well, I'm not an expert in wheelchairs, but does it really take that long to create a basic wheelchair? Well, maybe, considering he's blind, but I don't know. I've been working with metal for years, Bashir. Come back tomorrow night, you'll see. I like his glasses. <laughs> I would like to borrow some. Blue tint, or green tint, with some black waves through, for some reason. The next evening, it's not finished, and it never will be. Well, what are, what is left to do? What is it even meant to be? Um, this a speech bubble looks like it's coming through from this, even though it's not, it's coming from him, but uh, it's pointing at this square thing, whatever this is meant to be. Is it a boiler, perhaps? <laughs> it's funny. Uh, this is a bandage, but it looks like he's had a really unfortunate haircut. Someone just shaved all around his head. Hmm. When can we leave to get my new chair from Tarek? Not tonight. I've got a truck full of scrap coming in, and it has to be unloaded. Why didn't you tell him this before? Seriously, you could have told him yesterday. Surely you knew that you had a scrap load of uh, truck coming tomorrow and you didn't mention it. You're going to make me wait. I'm not making you do anything. You want to go, go. Tarek shop isn't that far and you can do anything you put your mind to. Fine, I will do it myself. That's the spirit. Will he be in trouble along the way, I wonder? 
Will there be bullies? Will there be a gang? That usually happens when people are on their own. I can barely move around on these cobblestones. This new chair better be worth all the trouble. <laughs> well, he is very ungrateful to you. Tarek? Hello, is anyone here? What will he discover from this ancient man? What is he witnessing? Welding, perhaps. An extraordinary metalwork. Whoa! Look at this extraordinary uh, scene. <laughs> How can that be? Okay, first of all, where is this? He came into the shop. There was a light. And then there's a... Like, circular tunnel thing. Um, I'm guessing he knew he was coming. Otherwise, this is not very good security, is it? Anyone could have came in here and saw him. But I'm sure he can, could have dealt with them regardless. This looks like liquid metal. Now, if you were to tell me this was living metal, like in a Doctor Who comic I read, um, my first one on this channel, actually, comic review, then I would believe you. This reminds me of, uh, like, Terminator 2, sort of, uh, liquidy metal. But it's not coming from, is it? Is he part of this metal? I'm not sure by looking at it. Um, it's certainly around him. And here's the reveal. Hmm? You thought you could sneak up on me in a metal chair, boy. <laughs> well, he doesn't really know your abilities, to be honest. Uh, so, I don't think he uh, really thought about it. Oh, I see what he means. Does he mean the noise it makes? Um, but surely then he would have heard about... He would have heard the chair coming long before he got... To this uh, part. He is doing something to his chair. Ah! He is creating the front cover. This isn't for your eyes. I'm sorry, I won't tell anyone. No, you won't. So, he wasn't expecting him to see. Okay, that's a bit silly then. He just left that, whatever, chamber of secret door open for anyone to see. And didn't his front door, or maybe there isn't a front door. I saw earlier there was a curtain. That makes it even more imperative he should have shut this. Uh, why did he keep that open? Just a coincidence. I swear I'll keep your secret, but please... Tell me what this is. <laughs> I will keep your secrets. I'm in trouble for seeing your secrets. But tell me more of your secrets that I will also promise not to tell. Wow. Curiosity killed the catfish. This is what makes things such as your new chair possible. Well, he hasn't got the new chair yet. Chair? Oh, Chuck. What you see has remained hidden from the world for centuries. <laughs> to be honest, that is quite unbelievable. If he was in charge of keeping the secret for centuries, it would not have been so, surely. Tarek, come out. They're back. Stay here, Bashir. Whatever you do, don't make any noise. Who's back? Those men... I wonder if the old man is going to end up dead now. Uh, maybe that's how he takes over his powers. But what has that got to do with Scorpion? If he gets his powers from this man, what was the relevance of that Scorpion? I thought the Scorpion bit him. Well, it didn't say it bit him, but he went, Ah! 
but maybe that's just from the shock of seeing the scorpion, not necessarily because it stung him, I should say. So today I came myself to see if you had gained any wisdom. You may be the best, but I'll find another metal smith if I have to. I'll ask one last time, will you make the weapons we want? He is only one man, how many weapons do they expect him to make? Ask as many times as you like. Oh, I forgot, You yesterday you told my men no. The answer will always be no. Blam! Pity. Okay, that was... Unless he comes back to life, unless he can heal himself with that oozy metal, then this was pretty dumb of him to be killed. And I know... Supposedly this is meant to be kept a secret, but... Can't he just kill them or something? Can't he solve all the problems with this gang, single-handedly, if he wanted to? Can't he just move to another country? Hmm. And I did say... I predicted he would die, but I didn't really want him to die. Because we just saw he had all this power, and they just he just let them shoot him, so... But let's see what happens. You can die knowing the city is going to suffer for your defiance. I'll teach them all that no one denies me what I ask for. That's pretty dumb logic you've got there. <sighs> well, it's taking him a while to die at least. Tarek, I can try to get you to the hospital. Too late for that. But... But the things you can do with metal, can't you just take the bullet out? I could remove the bullet, but not the damage it's done. Better to die than let them learn of the power. I'm sure if you take out a bullet, they won't assume you have magic powers. And besides, you just said that it can remove the bullet but not the damage so if they remove so you would die anyway so what are you saying? that makes no sense to me anyway Bashir come here time is short now you must take my gift for your own the crown of Zenobia this is one piece of it, there are others, guarded in secret, just as you must now hide this piece. But what am I supposed to do with it? You'll be able to control all metals, with your merest thought. But not for your own benefit, only for others. You must not reveal or abuse the gift by making yourself fake legs or riches. That's a bit unfair. But I suppose it might blow your cover. Um, if he can control metal, he could have stopped the bullet, surely. But maybe that's what he was talking about. It's better to die than to let them learn of it. Unless he killed them. I mean, he is supposed to be working for others. Serving others um, for the benefit of others. So surely killing them fits into that bracket of um, doing things for other people's benefit. So silly old man, you don't deserve it. I wonder how long he's had these, uh, this, um, what's it called, the crown of Zenobia. Has he had it for hundreds of years, I wonder. Was it passed down to him from his granddaddy? I suspect it's the latter. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. No one must ever know. Crown of Zenobia. What did he mean? Dum dum dum. 
And what's with the scorpion on the... Wait, I didn't see any scorpion. I am confused. It looks like it's a coin. And then... It looks like it's a round thing. Like a, like a crown. But well, it is a crown. But there it doesn't look like a crown. Oh, it comes out. It forms, I think. From this metal. It forms itself. Alright. My, what is this? Ah, is this liquid silver. Wow, it made him a nice suit already. Wait, let's go back and see what he looked like. Um, yes, it looks a bit like a scorpion, and it's a blue thing in the middle. But his looks quite a bit different. He's got a big round logo on his chest. And uh, that actually reminds me of Green Lantern. It looks kind of green in the shadow. This suit. Outside. Please, we've done nothing. <laughs> Burn it down. Let the flames be a warning to all who would care. Dare stand against us. Yes, boss. I'm wondering... Um, do they even know why they're doing this? It's a pretty useless burning everything down when you're not telling them that it's because an old man defied you. And uh, again, is there no police uh, force in this place? It doesn't look like there's many people, like three or four. Can they not all band together and fight back? And also, if they can do all of this, why do they need... Why do they need... Um, more weapons in the first place. Nobody stands in their way. They can burn down the whole town and no one does anything. Why do they need some extra weapons from this old man? Explain. That only a good uh, weaponsmith, uh, metal smith can create. Not very necessary, is it? They already run everything. Burn, you crump. What? How can it be sealed? Stop! It seems our friend, the Silver Scorpion, has arrived. <laughs> okay. First of all, this. Second of all, I thought he wasn't allowed to create legs. Does this not count? I mean, okay, it's still sort of a chair, but if he can create this to move around, surely he can create legs for himself, right? Where's the logic in this? That looks cool, for sure. On the front cover it looked blue, here it looks silver, like silver scorpion. So it makes sense, but it did look blue on the cover. Um, he hasn't masked his identity, I notice. We can still see his face. And the bandage. And they saw him earlier, surely they would recognize his face. And the fact that he's in a sort of chair thing. Um, I mean, he... He can control all metal, he can create all of this. Why doesn't he just create a face? Why doesn't he create weapons like a like a cool mace or sword or something? Bow and arrow, anything you want. What weapons does he have, I wonder? You must be joking. Kill him! <laughs> I mean, okay, that is not... If I was an evil man, I don't think that's the first thing I would think. Kill him. I mean, yes, you might think an evil man would be all about that. But you see this guy. Is that the first thing you're going to say? Kill him. I mean, it looks cool. It looks advanced. It looks high-tech. It looks futuristic. 
and he was just he just killed an old guy because he wouldn't create him weapons and you see this and your first thought is kill him you're not going to ask about you're not going to inquire about any of this armor he's got where he got it from how he created this uh, nothing just kill him I mean that's a little one dimensional I would say Braka 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 <laughs> It often says that in uh, comics Braka 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 In the Batman ones I was reading It said that quite often Or some variation Why is there a pirate? Uh, huh? Who's he? I don't know who this guy is Oh it's the same guy I think Oh he's got a little bit of metal around the eye But that is not great, is it? Doesn't even cover all of the eyes. Doesn't even cover the bridge of the nose. Ping, ping, ping. Zing, zing, ping. Awesome! Meta really does whatever I want. Is this really what he thought of in his imagination? To make spirally metal go round and round? I mean, if people were shooting at me, I probably would have invented a, uh, just a metal wall between us or something. Is this really what he thought of? Uh, in, just in the spur of the moment. I have another question. The old guy could have done this, but he did not. He wanted, he said he would rather die than let them know about his power. And what's the first thing this guy does? He goes out and goes... He shows his face, he shows his abilities, like a minute after the guy dies. And I know I said I should... I, that old guy should have done something, but from the point of view of this character... Why... We didn't get any thoughts, we didn't get any conflict. The old guy died to keep it a secret, so maybe I shouldn't go out and just go zing 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 Showing everyone my powers But no, that's the first thing we see Okay Um, so, you know, it kind of moved a bit too quickly, I think And there's a lot of metal around What is he, Dongs? But that's impossible. Well, he could have said that before. Okay, now it's a fair fight. Wait, we didn't even get to see you fight first. He's created a giant metal creature before we even saw him do any attack on his own. You could have left this for the boss battle or something. It looks cool though, I will say that. I think you should be careful about crossing your arm, you should probably have those spirally tentacles around you again. Just in case they carry on shooting. It's funny how um, the guy said that's impossible when looking at this metal creature, but he didn't say it's impossible at this for some reason. I don't know, maybe he's seen this before. Maybe this did not impress him much. You like pushing people around. Blocker, blocker, blocker. Ah, let's see how you like it. Getting pushed around. Oof. I think they do more than pushing people around. They murder people. You two, get those gas cave, get those gas cans up here. We'll torch it back to hell. Speaking of hell, that might be where you are going. Who could tell me? Great visuals I am witnessing. Creepy monster. Is that what its head looked like before? Mm, well, I guess from this perspective we can't see the full head. It looks funny. 
Blum, blum. Whoosh! Fire all around. Let it burn. Let it burn. Ha! I thought it said Han for a second. <laughs> ha! And I thought, why is there a Han in Syria? I'm assuming it's Syria. Look at it burn. Hey, you can't just leave me. Ah, the boss is alone. No. <laughs> what is this? Looks like a giant grenade, but... Boom! Wait, what happened? Is that a grenade? If that's a grenade, it is massive. That is absolutely massive if that is a grenade. What is that in his hand? Is that a grenade? I'm so confused. But something explodes. Boom! Ah, it looks like he is at his end. The leader of the gang got... He got away! How? Well, it looks like he exploded the uh, giant metal creature. But how can he keep, how can he tell that he got away? I mean, there was just a massive explosion. It could be burning for all you know. But at least the city is safe. Tarek kept his, this power hidden his whole life. But why hide something that can do so much good? Yes, that... That is the uh, logic I thought that he would have. And uh, I would have personally, but... Is this uh, the only throwaway line we're going to get about this? Uh, surely people will be after him. Hmm. He will be in a lot of danger. His uncle will be in danger. His friends, if he has any remaining. Mm. But clearly he had no second thoughts about just diving into that battle. No thoughts at all. Very different approach. I would take his approach as opposed to the old man just uh, letting himself get shot uh, when he could have stopped those guys for good. Those killers won't escape me next time. And there will be definite, and there will definitely be a next time. Later at home. Oh, I thought that was the end. <laughs> hmm. This is what I was missing. I knew it before. But I didn't know why. I needed a wheel. Do you know what makes a wheel so important? No, what? First of all, that looks very creepy to me. It reminds me of the Eye of Sauron, but a silver version. And with a bit more detailing, some patterns. I still have no clue what this sculpture is. Very unique. And uh, isn't the uncle going to ask how he made this uh, wheel so juicy. Or doesn't he ask questions? A wheel is a circle, and a circle is equal in all directions. In all religion, it's a symbol for justice. Are you sure? I have not heard of this before. This idea of a circle meaning justice. This is news to me. A great gift has been placed in your hands. You must use it. Oh, the uncle knows. It seems the uncle knows about his powers. That's, um, again, they quite abrupt. I feel like they just went into that. There was no reveal. There was no discovery. No conversation. He just knew. Later at home. So the same day his uncle finds out. And we, they don't even show us him finding out. So a bit too fast paced, uh, I would say.
Unless he's talking about his art, of course. Is that the gift? Um, it, he could be talking about his art, but it doesn't uh, seem like it. If I had only listened to Kamal, he would still be alive. Hmm. Well, he might be talking about the art, but... It's hard to tell. We can't change the past, Bashir, but we only learn from it and shape the future. That's what I'm going to do. The gangsters will never hurt innocent people like Tarek and Kamal again. So, well, you were very foolish too, you know. You knew there were mines over there and you still went for this wheel. So, but yes, it is ultimately their fault. But you need some sense in your head. Soon all the criminals in the city will fear the name Silva Scorpion. I thought that was the end. <laughs> I also, oh, my. Elsewhere, forgive me, my lord, but I bring ill news. The metalsmith was uncooperative, so I slew him to serve as an example to the town. But shortly after, my men were attacked by a metal monster, seemingly at the command of a boy who could control metal. Control metal? Yes, sir, my lord. He called himself the... No, he did not! <laughs> I do not remember him calling himself the Silver Scorpion. Could it be after all this time? As a piece of the crown finally reappeared. It must be. I will have it. I will have all of them. And then Zenobia's power will finally be mine. The end for now. <laughs> so, this guy, this gang, was working for some higher up power. This demon, his hairstyle reminds me of, uh, I've forgotten his name, that guy from uh, Mortal Kombat. The guy with the four arms. Or is it more, yes, the guy with multiple arms. So suddenly we've gone in another direction. There's, uh, of course, there's good guys who have powers. And I'm guessing we have a bad guy who has equal power at least. Um, but of course, he is going to come after the Silver Scorpion. How did he come up with that name? Why did he feel the need to have a name? Does he read comic books? Does he watch uh, comic uh, superhero cartoons or movies? Because we didn't get that impression. All we saw was him creating a sculpture. Uh, if we saw some sort of uh, foreshadowing, like we see him watching a cartoon and it's got a superhero, or we see him reading a comic, or hear somebody else, he hears oh, someone, he overhears someone talking about a superhero. Because just to come out with a name like that, with no sort of uh, lead up to it, it makes it sort of uh, in your face, like it knows it's in a comic book. It knows it's in a superhero story. Um, but if in the story it is actually some link to something that happened earlier, something that he watched, or something in his childhood, or something he overhears, then that makes more sense, but just to say, I'm the Silva Scorpion, I don't get it. Um, and where does the scorpion idea come from? Um, that crown that the old man gave him was called the crown of, um, what was it, uh, Zenobia. There was no, it wasn't the crown of Scorpion. So I do wonder, was Zenobia, who is this guy? Is he a Scorpion person? Um, why is the Scorpion relevant? 
Uh, and he didn't have a stinger! So I am disappointed. I had a feeling he wouldn't have a stinger. He can make a stinger if he wanted. Why not? If you're going to call yourself a scorpion, have a stinger. Have pincers. But uh, can scorpions control metal? Hmm, I wonder. But overall, I enjoyed this comic. I think it's my favourite one I've reviewed uh, so far, which isn't many. I reviewed those Doctor Who ones. I reviewed uh, the Assassin's Creed ones. And this one, I think, is the uh, more the one that feels more like a story so far. Silver Scorpion, never heard of this guy before. But a good impression so far, I would say. What did you think of it? I definitely would want to read more of this guy. I'm not sure what year this was from. Um, did it tell you? Great artwork, I would say. Strong. So, this whoosh whoosh is that, um, must be not some air ability, air bending. It's him controlling the metal. Um, I don't believe I saw him in this wheelchair. I know the man created a wheelchair for him, but did we actually see it like that? Let's see. Here's the chair for Ming. No, where is it? Here is the chair. And we see something forming. But we don't really see it. Which is a shame. Look, even here, it's not there. That's just the old one. Um, at the end, did we see it? Look, he has a new one here. Uh, quite a short back still. Maybe that's fashionable. But that's not, that doesn't look like the same one to me. Well, maybe. So this was, um, does it, 2010, I think, possibly. It says, Issue 1, limited edition, first printed, published by Liquid Comics, 2010 Open Hands Initiative. I thought it was like uh, 2016 or something, because I was reading those free comic book day ones. Mm. But this one was also free, actually, I'm pretty sure, from Amazon. Uh, and if it's on Amazon, I'm sure you can get it on Comixology, perhaps. So if you want to uh, download it, uh, go ahead and search for it. But I might include the link if I find it again. Uh, but thank you for watching. Tell me your thoughts, show me your crimes. And remember, jump on that subscribe button. If you would like to eat the cheese. Oh well, my munchies. Take care. My moonshine. <laughs> <laughs>